push through a little bit easier. So if you cut it at an angle, it's good to just make a little cut and then you can rip the rest. And then you carefully poke this through. And then when you load a pastry bag, you turn it inside out. Around your hand, like that. So you don't get anything on your hand, and you protect the top of the bag. So then you, know, you take your rubber spat, and you load it up. And then you just put it in here, and you grab it. Yeah. Look at that. Potato stuff. Potato poop emojis. These are like from, um, where are these from? Pumugia? Pumugia, which is right near. Um, it's in Asia. It's in Asia? Yes. Once you get all your taters in there, seal your bag up, find the seam of the bag, and then you take your fingers. And then push it all down. So aggressive. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Better? Yeah. And then once you get everything down there, you seal right here. And then you can do cool designs. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you three, and then you guys do the rest. Okay. So you, what's really important is that you seal the bag, so when you're squeezing it, it doesn't go back up. This is your uh, gas pedal. This is your steering wheel. So you squeeze here, and I'll just show you, this is a basic rosette, so you just lower down, and you do a couple rounds, and that's a rosette, so you can do that. And then another one is kind of this just weaving pattern, and another one is like the shell pattern. And you can do this, um, you can use this for mashed potatoes on a plate. These are great for banquets because you take these and you have 500 of these on a sheet tray, you pop them in the oven, they get a nice golden color on there, and then when you transfer them, all you do is you take a spatula and you pick them up and you put them right on the plate. And you know exactly how many you have, you don't you know, run out of potatoes, get them all piped yeah. up, ready to go. And they look nice. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. Yeah, a little snail or wave. Dragon. Dragon.